Okay, so today we're going to try to make this 10 gram um, sketch. And so essentially, if you look carefully here, what we have is a 4x4 four four grid. <clears throat> and so we have to measure off these squares. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw these lines in. And then if we cut those pieces out, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And so the, the um, two non triangular pieces are here and here okay so what I'm going to try to do is show you a very accurate way of creating this okay and so let's start with a fresh piece of paper so what I'm doing is I'm I've decided to um, um, <clears throat> use four and a quarter as my measurement because that way if I really want to I can make um, four ten grams out of one piece of paper but it doesn't matter what the measurements are um, as long as they're equal. And so here, if I take four and a quarter, I'm going to translate that into um, 16 over four uh, plus a quarter or 17 quarters. And so, <clears throat> so 17 quarters divided by four or times a quarter gives me uh, seven sixteenths, which is one and a sixteenth. And so my marks here are going to be um, one and a sixteenth here. 2 and 2 sixteenths, or 2 and 1 eighth, and then 3 and 3 sixteenths, and finally 4 and 4 sixteenths, or 4 and a quarter. Okay, so I want to make this accurately, and so here are a few things we need to do. To make this thing accurately, what we need to do is measure off um, 4 and a quarter. So if you look at my ruler here, it has um, inches on one side and centimeters on the other, and so unfortunately, I want to put a line at the top of the page and so to make it more accurate what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around and go from 12 down so I'm going to count down four inches and then go a quarter okay and so I line up right on the edge of the page um, the 12 and then I put at counting down four and then I put a quarter uh, tick right here okay and so it's <clears throat> And then at the other side of the page, well now I can use the real measurements to get really accurate near the edge of the page. So now I sit there and hit uh, four and a quarter. I make a tick. And then by having two points here, I put my pen on one of the marks, move my ruler to it, and then line up the other tick. And so and to make sure I put my pencil on both ends and then I draw my line and so in this way I can assure that we have <clears throat> these two lines parallel and that's exactly what we need and so we have to do it again so once again I'm going to reverse the ruler and count down to make it a little bit more accurate okay right near the edge of the page four and a quarter there's my tick and then flip it around and do it one here. And then four and a quarter this side. Make my tick. And so once again, I put my mark here, put my ruler to it, line it up, touch both points, and then draw my line. Okay, so now in this corner I have a square, a big square that's uh, four and a quarter. Now all I have to do is put the marks in using my inches here and so because I've got both sides it doesn't really matter how I do it and so I line it up and then I put one at um, one and a sixteenth two and two sixteenths or two and an eighth three and three sixteenths and I might as well do them all at once and so here we have um, line up one and one sixteenth two and two sixteenths three and three sixteenths same thing <clears throat> so this time I'm going to actually reverse and now i got to be a little bit careful because i got to count backwards in some ways and so this is 1 and a 16th even though it looks funny 2 and 2 16ths or 2 and 8th and then um, 3 and 3 16ths similarly on top 1 and 1 16th 2 and an 8th 3 and 3 16ths and now I just draw my lines in. And so same way, put the pen down, move my ruler to it, make the marks, kaboom, pen 
down. So it's all about precision. Making sure things hit the mark. Okay, so now I have my grid, and so now it's just to, about remembering where the lines go. And so I happen to remember this fairly well. We can actually just put a diagonal, and the same thing goes. We want to put our pen or whatever it is right on the mark, and then make the line. And then here, we don't go from the diagonal, we go from this point here on. So move the ruler to the pen, and then touch both points. So by doing this, touching at both points, we sort of <clears throat> take into account the thickness of the pen or pencil. Now here's the square, and here's the parallelogram here. The line's actually here, so I'm just overdoing it. And so just to make it clear, I'm going to shade in the parallelogram and the square. And so there we have it. This will make a nice tangram set and in fact from this one piece of paper we can make multiple copies. Anyway, I hope that's useful <clears throat> and try to use the same technique to get it as precise as you can. Good luck.